it's Connie with the Ginsburg Free Public Library, and I thought we would go over our final book tracker. Yay! Today we're going to talk about Library Thing. Library Thing is really cool. It's part social media, part book tracker, and it also has a library card catalog feature. We don't use it, but Tiny Cat is available for some libraries to use as their online card catalog, which is really awesome. It has um, groups and forums. You can import books. You can search for books. You can also get recommendations and all these fun charts and graphs to track your reading progress and so many other really cool things. To get an account, you just need an email and a password, as well as you have to make up your own unique username. You don't just use your email as your username. You'll use, so the username and password will be what you use to log in, but the email will be used if you gotta like reset passwords and to verify your account and all that fun stuff. So on the homepage, you can see the different places where you can go, as well as books I've recently added my tags, as well as my book recommendations. And some of these books I have actually either read or really want to read. So the recommendations are pretty on point. They're really, really good. If you keep scrolling, you'll see a quick page to their groups. Any kind of local events. If I'd given them my location, it might show me author signings or anything like that. As well as on this day where you can find out which authors were born or which authors had died and all kinds of fun stuff that way. If we go to the top, so profile is obviously your about you. You can have a photo and all that good stuff. It'll show your reading, rec your reading stuff, and all kinds of other fun things. Charts and graphs, though, might be my most favorite section of this tracker. We'll give it a second to load. So it's going to show you the kind of books you've read. Right? So I, read, I do read mostly paperback. It'll show you... it's. Um, rereads as well as specific new books off different authors your collections as well as whether or not you've read any series it'll show you a breakdown of the years your books were published as well as tell you how tall your book stack is so this has changed a little bit they were a bit more out there originally when I first started using this but as you can see, I my book stack is currently shorter than a garden gnome, and it can be all the way as tall as a de double-decker bus. I do believe, though, as you read, it'll start adding more, so the more you meet these goals, the more um, heights will be added. It'll give you a breakdown of your genres and your fiction versus nonfiction. And here it is a little bit more broken down. It'll also show you your Dewey Bright numbers. So if you are reading a lot of nonfiction, it'll kind of show you where all your nonfiction interests tend to lie if you were looking in a library setting. And it'll kind of show you about info about your author, so the gallery, where they're alive from, whether they're alive or dead, whether you're reading more male or female authors the languages and the original languages, as well as whether or not you were able to find cover art. So the stats are really fun. I'm not gonna lie, this might be the best part of library thing is just seeing these breakdowns. You do have a quick recommendation list. So this will pull up all of your recommendations. I haven't added a ton of books, so I do only have 95 recommendations. Under reviews, It'll show you the reviews that you've left. I haven't left any reviews. I don't usually review books on these things because I don't, I, I worry that sometimes people negatively impact the book or overly positively impact the book when people should just enjoy the book because they enjoyed it. They, I don't, I think reviews are too weighted and they are way too important, more than they should be. It should just be, oh, this book sounds great. Let me give it a shot. Ugh. It wasn't for me, but it wasn't a bad book. I don't. I really genuinely, there are very, very few truly bad books. So I hate reviews. I, I really don't do it. So these are reviews, though. You can see reviews that others have written about your book. As you can see, Imaginary Friend, the first review, no good. Loved the book. It was great. I didn't think it was boring. It was, it was, it was a large book, though. I will admit 700 pages is, like, right up there in Stephen King's own. 
connection. So this would be if you're following anyone, um, any book news about your books and genres that you're into, messages. So people can message you and talk to you if you want. I obviously haven't done this. You have your books at the top, so that'll show you all the books that you've added. Add books will let you add specific books, so you can search by title, author, ISBN, Library of Congress card number, and so many others. So this site goes, it's really quite in depth. And it does seem to have almost every book, which could probably play into the fact that you can search Amazon or also just the library catalog. You can also add tags. So if you wanted to tag something as horror or mystery, you could do that as well. Under groups, it'll show you all kinds of different groups. You could partake in book challenges or book clubs. Talk is just the forums where you can talk about your thoughts about books or any kind of whatever you want. Local is kind of cool too. It lets you set your location so that you can find like local bookstores and libraries and all kinds of different things. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to be giving any of that stuff away on YouTube, even if with some editing magic I could. But it'll show you like little libraries and book kiosks and all kinds of really, really fun things. Under more, it'll tell you about that it has an app and that about Tiny Cat. And then just some other like random things that might help you via like book booky stuff, like so other booky apps. Zeta Geist is just kind of the boring like stuff, like how many tags there are, what's being most reviewed or most read, how many reviews they've written, how many books are cataloged, how many members there are. So once again, if you are super, super, super super into um, statistics. This could be fun for you. I'm kind of just here to hang out and not really worry too, too much. I just want to know if I've read something already or not. So that is library thing. Super easy. Oh, you know what? Why don't I show you how to actually add something? So we're going to go to add a book. We are going to search. Let's see. What have I read recently? Flower Evil. This manga was a trip. Oh, there it is. So you can go search it. Go find the right one. You can click it. And that that's it. It's it's added to your things you've read. You can either delete it or you can edit it. You can add your tags. All kinds of fun things. Give it a rating. Move your collections around. So yeah. Give library thing a shot. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have fun with it. Or I hope you have fun with all of the book trackers. There are so many more out there that I haven't even found or remotely thought to try. So if you find new ones, share them with us because fun. It's always kind of cool to see what's out there and learn new book trackers or new ways to keep track of my what I'm reading. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>